Tēnā tātou kato. Good evening. There are calls for the Associate Health Minister Casey Costello to be sacked after documents emerged revealing she likened nicotine harm to caffeine. The documents obtained by RNZ show Costello also specifically asked for advice on pausing tax hikes on tobacco, which is in contradiction to what she said this past week. Here's political editor Jenna Lynch. The heat is on. Casey Costello under fire, accused of parroting tobacco industry talking points in her notes to officials. Does she stand by all her statements and actions? Mr Speaker. Yes. The first term New Zealand First MP is in charge of our smoke-free laws. In recent weeks, she's denied asking for specific advice on pausing tax increases. I referred to a range of advice I had sought from officials. But there's a smoking gun, notes the minister gave to officials, which explicitly say under a heading of smoking, freeze the excise rates on smoked tobacco for three years, starting 31 December 2023. This is a range of points and positions, and it's about five pages long. Despite the notes coming from Costello's office, she says she doesn't know who wrote them. Mr Speaker, I couldn't tell you the author of that document. It's in the document archives. Do things in her office just appear out of thin air? <laughs> the PM unaware and unwilling to cast judgment. Yeah, again, I haven't seen the stories, and in fairness, you know, I need to be able to uh, have that before I have any further comment. But all I can, but, 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 but all I just say to you is, you know, at the end of the day, uh, we increased excise tax on cigarettes. Costello also reportedly compared nicotine harm to a cup of coffee, with the note saying nicotine is as harmful as caffeine, but its association with smoking has seen the poorest punished by huge taxes. Is caffeine as harmful as nicotine? Uh, no. Nicotine often comes with tobacco, which comes with a whole lot of tar and other things that are unhealthy. Uh, but if you have too much crema in your coffee, that could be unhealthy for you too. Is caffeine as harmful as nicotine? Well, they're both harmful, and um, I'm certainly addicted to caffeine. Um, I'm up to four coffees today. Labor's calling for Costello's sacking. I believe she is not fit to hold her Associate Minister portfolio in health. And yes, I call on Christopher Luxon to relieve her of her, uh, of her responsibilities. Yeah. Is she the right person to be in charge of tobacco laws? Uh, am I comparing com caffeine to tobacco? All I can say to you is that she's very determined to actually now deal with the 6.8% of New Zealanders that are daily smokers. I haven't seen any evidence that caffeine is killing 5,000 New Zealanders. That's 30 people every single day. Health researchers are concerned that Costello's statements are coming directly from the tobacco lobby. I've certainly seen that argument comparing nicotine to caffeine uh, in documents that have been attributed to tobacco companies and I think it would be not at all surprising if this was something that they were trying to socialise. The PM's political risk radar is going off, seeking assurances no one's taking money from big tobacco. My office spoke to the officers of the other parties to confirm that those parties and those parties both came back to say that they haven't received uh, their, their donations from tobacco companies. Trying himself to find out if the old saying, where there's smoke, there's fire, rings true. Well, Jenna joins us now from the sunny north as politicians are starting to make their way towards Waitangi commemorations. Kia ora, Jenna. So is Casey Costello's job safe? Yeah, Labour might have been a bit trigger happy with the call to sack her there. There is yet to be any evidence that she's actually broken a rule here and the view, at least among the government, is she's not really anywhere near skating on thin, thin ice. There's a couple of things saving her here. One's a semantic argument around exactly the advice that she asked for. The other thing is more complicated and that is Prime Ministers in coalition governments find it very difficult to reprimand ministers outside their party. It is inked into the New Zealand First coalition deal that they get three cabinet ministers sitting around the table. So even if Christopher Luxon did get to a point where he wanted to get rid of Casey Costello, it would be no simple sacking. Jenna, tēnā koe.